How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Hixie Dust, here with another Madden franchise video. So, I just wanted to start off this episode with how pumped I am with what the Giants are doing in the offseason. They're, si they're making a lot of signs, signs that can only improve the team. They signed Reggie Ragland, linebacker, to play next to Blake Martinez. You'll probably have Lorenzo Carter, Carter Coughlin on the edge linebacker spot, uh, the left or the right. Um, yeah, you've got the Giants re re recently announced Adoree Jackson, cornerback from the Titans, is coming to the team. You throw him in a backfield with names like James Bradbury, Logan Ryan, Jabril Peppers, Julian Love, Xavier McKinney. I mean, our backfield is going to be stacked. Isaac Yadum had a breakout year. So, team in that aspect, defense is only going to get better. Uh, the offense, we signed Kyle Rudolph, John Ross, and Kenny Galladay. So, now you have those three guys mixed in with Darius Slayton, Sterling Shepard, Saquon Barkley, uh, Devontae Booker, Evan Ingram. I mean, this just, there's just, they've been upgrading the team so much that you can go into the draft and just, you're not chasing holes. You can just select the best player available at the pick. It, it, it takes complete pressure off the team. I, I don't know. I, I just hope that everything translates well into the off, into the start of the season, into preseason training camp, which we're actually supposed to get this year. I got I got nothing but faith and hype right now for the Giants. I'm, I'm that excited. But, but... We're not here all day to talk about the Giants. Well, we are because I'm playing as a Giants, but in a different manner. We have three weeks until the offseason in this <laughs> universe. Uh, we will be playing the Cleveland Browns today at home, a 10-3 and team going up against 11-2 and team. And this is a game where the news is even, f is even hyped up on it. I mean, the Madden universe. Um... Giants and Browns has a lot of fantasy football implications. Not sure the Browns win this game on the road. Big game this week for the Giants at home. Are they for real? Browns head to East Rutherford for a much-anticipated showdown between top teams this week. So we're, right now, we're a 1 o'clock game. If this was real life, this could possibly be switched out for a primetime game. That's how good this matchup is on paper. So you view the, we got the playoff picture, which has been introduced a couple weeks back. We are still in just the division leader wild card spot against the Cowboys. San Francisco, much like us, are on a winning streak. We have the same record, but they have the bye. So again, we're just hoping that they trip up somewhere along the way, although it seems doubtful at this point in time. We just got to keep winning and hope that, you know, something happens. Uh, we have a message X Factor defensive end, Miles Garrett more likely. Any yep, any thoughts on how we're gonna handle? We're gonna do what our always do, slow him down. If we do attempt any deep passes, which I'd strongly advise against, make sure the quarterback audibles to max protect at the line of scrimmage to prevent sacks. We we'll need as many blockers as we can get. Beat Miles Garrett's Browns, give up two or fewer sacks. Doable. X Factor running back Nick Chubb. This guy's an absolute load. It's going to take two or three defenders to bring him down, especially if we give him space to build up momentum. How do you want to handle it? Slow him down. Hold him to one or fewer rushing touchdowns. That's a little bit harder than controlling sacks, but we'll see what we can do. Everything seems to be set. So we're just going to jump right on in. You can see the Cleveland Browns are rated higher than us by four points. Let's get at it. Today, from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, it's week 15 of the NFL. It's the New York Giants 
taking on the Cleveland Browns. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This is the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with the Cleveland Browns. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They've certainly found their groove of late, winners of five in a row. And I think the sky's the limit for this team. They're playing the best football that they've played in a long time. Meanwhile, for the Browns here, they have certainly got it rolling of late. Winners of six in a row. And it's simple. The more you win in the regular season, the more likely you play at home in the postseason. And that can take you deep into January. Taken in the end zone. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. The Browns offense getting ready for their first drive as they will do so behind their quarterback in his third year now from Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield. After seeing what he did last week, throwing four touchdown passes, I had to go to my thesaurus to try and come up with some great words for what he did. I'm still coming up blank. He was scintillating. I'm, I'm going simple. I don't, I don't have your thesaurus. I'm going dynamite. He was dynamite. I'll take it. Apparently he was dynamite. And they were roommates. First down, Mayfield. Got a man. That's Rashard Higgins. Okay. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. Mayfield on first down. Open man is Higgins. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. At the 47-yard line. To throw Mayfield. He's going to look deep now for Landry. And that will be just a little off target. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Coverage defensively by Logan Ryan. Mayfield with it once more. Oh! Trying to get it to Beckham and it's intercepted. Picked off by Logan Ryan. There he goes, left side. Could not have picked. A better starting drive. Now remember, this is the number one defense in the National Football League. There's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone, not just stopping the run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in the air. They treat it like they're the receivers, and they went after that one. They took it all the way. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7 nothing lead. Makes the heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So with that, we're just not going to change anything on defense right now. Usually I do my uh, defensive adjustments, my coaching adjustments. And Hilliard will elect to not return it. At their own 25. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. Let's try that again. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their 25 yard line. A first carry now for Nick Chubb, and he'll be up in it at the Only a couple yard yards. Line. That's Just what we want to do. Chubb, the, Browns. the check on the numbers for Chubb from a week ago. 17 carries, 82 yards. Well, we know they've clinched a playoff spot, but there's plenty of football left to play. And I'm a proponent of continuing to do what you've done throughout the season, especially with teams that are heavy run teams. Okay. Because if you throttle back too early, you lose the rhythm of the run game, not just with the runner, but with the offensive line as well. A five-yard pickup on the play. And it's third down. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And it's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. On 
the ground. It's Chubb. There you go. There at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Julian loves. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Julian Love got there first, but Ryan actually made the tackle, so that's fine. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield, they're bringing it in right side here. Beckham. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. I believe Beckham was injured for the game against the Giants. So he didn't actually get to play. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from the oh. referee for the first time this afternoon. Okay. Uh, third and somewhat manageable now, not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you got to start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. On third down, Mayfield. And it's complete. Hooper. And he'll go down, but not before getting this I tell you, Cleveland's offensive line is good. I've been having trouble getting a Baker all game long. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. And nine at the 27 yard. And again, it's Mayfield. Gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. And taking it to the 15 yard line before he's brought down. Okay. A gain of 13. It's a first down. That's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation. Give me a fresh ball. And let's go. He's got he felt the pressure there, again. threw it away. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. On second down, Mayfield again. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Okay. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Going to the air again with Mayfield. Ooh, that's in. Caught at about the six. That's in. And he is into the end zone. Tough to share they were going to try and run that. So I was prepared for a run. Okay. Touchdown of the season. And the All right. An extra point of Believe it or not, we're are. just about to get into the second quarter, Good and this will be the first time our quarterback right hits the, the field. On drive number one, drive number two leads him right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game and leading them out in his third season from UCLA a former 10th overall pick Josh Rosen it's easy to see the big time arm it's also easy to see the pinpoint accuracy and delivery but how about his footwork as well an amateur tennis player that honed what he can do in the pocket his ability to slide and move away from pressure and be able to find receivers open downfield They'll look to throw on first down with Josh Rosen. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. I was trying to find that mass protect. Max protect. Here's the number two overall selection in 2018, Saquon Barkley. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. 
They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Rosen will throw. Oh. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Complete. Second down. For Taylor Gabriel. Yep. Brings up second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Rosen. Catch made by Slayton. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 19 yards there on the catch and run. First and ten at the This was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked all okay. pretty well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. A gain of four. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. At the 39-yard line. From the gun, it's Rosen. That's complete to Slayton. Another first. It down to the 32. That's what we need. Yards there and a first down. New York Giants. First and ten. A give to Barkley out of the gun. Saquon Barkley, the ball carrier. Michael Kendricks, the linebacker, there to get him down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. That was a tight squeeze. I'm glad we made it. Four-yard line after a gain of five. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Oh, there we go. Found the cutback lane. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Giants have taken the lead. So they went to the ground game on third, hoping to pick up the first. They also picked up a touchdown. Offensive linemen so used in this situation to having to pass block. All right, you're looking at what it is, third down. They don't care that it's third and whatever. They figure they're going to throw the ball. And when you call a running play, I think you I think you energize them. I think you juice them up because I haven't met offensive linemen yet that likes to pass block more than they like to run block. And they opened up some nice holes there for him, and he took it to the house. To kick off. That's right. Took Good it to the house. Now, following the touchdown, here to kick it away. That's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And Hilliard will elect to not return it. At their own. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. They trail a one score deficit 14 7 as they come up first and 10. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. This pass complete to Higgins. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. The handoff to Nick Chubb. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching teams. Two minutes have left in the to pass. Run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. That catch good for only a couple. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Mayfield finding Beckham. A good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. This one complete into the hands of Higgins. And he is going to have I doubt they were going to want to try and settle for a field goal. Third down conversion. Mayfield throwing complete there to Hooper. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. I wasn't sure if he caught that in or out, to tell you the truth. They'll throw again. Oh! Mayfield, the Contested ball. Field, it's incomplete. Close Judy one. Love with a pass break up. Yeah, That's right, you will. If they want to keep this drive going on third down. 
Oh, come on. Yeah. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Dalvin Tomlinson has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. Well, you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a definitely a Yeah, uh, kind of felt like that was a force. Uh, Delpit. Yeah. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced... And he's got daylight! There it's is a, a flag race. that's coming back. And that's a touchdown, but hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. Oh, Odell. Holding offense. That's right. We will accept Brutal. that. So take away the long touchdown. It's a cruel game sometimes, partner. From the gun, Mayfield. And finding the tight end, Hooper. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Uh, left side, it's Beckham. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. And the Browns first down. On first and 10, Mayfield. Open man is Higgins. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A gain of six there on first. Austin Seibert for the Browns field goal. A 44-yard attempt. Seibert able to knock this one through. And that will do it for this first half. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. That'll be taken. Oh, I wanted to try deep. to down it. Ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Giants take over first and 10 at their own. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception that sting lingers a little bit longer. Ooh. Now, put together some nice that was a hard hit, but we got a lot of yards on that one. At the 45 yard line. That'll line up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 45 yard line. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. On the handoff. Andrews. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger Oh, run, someone run, held. Shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. That's never good. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Kevin. Zeidler, acquired in the Odell Beckham trade. Still second down. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Out of the gun, here's Josh Rosen. Flushed out right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, oh, no. Fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Anderson Dejo. And he takes this one back. Oh, I had no choice but to throw it, but I threw it in the wrong. Ay, ay, ay. 
Austin we constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays, but you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold, feel what's going on, and then get to the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight one. On the return, Corey Ballantyne. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. First and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The New York set to take the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. And he'll rumble for about Ooh, five. That's never good. Well, he's up and walking, so I'm a, assuming it's only going to be a play or two. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. On second down, here's Barkley. Yeah, this will be a Giants first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Now it's Barkley. Yeah, well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 13 yards, good for a Giant first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. A first down carry for Barkley. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39 Ooh, yard hurt. line. He had a uh, broken a finger slow to get up last, last week. We put Lazard in the game. Here's second and seven. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Ground and pound. Barkley, and he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. On third down, Barkley, and he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They'll run on first down. Barkley. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Slow and steady. That's all we need. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. This is Lewis. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards there, first down. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Just going to let the clock run out on this one. Get down to the floor. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Give him two yards, that sets him up, first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. There we go. Oh. There with you. You're exactly right. Uh. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there. Of course you're going to give it to him. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Third and goal. 
Let's see what Penny gets us. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Now it's Penny. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. This defense bending but not breaking. It's a gain of three. It's now fourth and goal. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They'll run with this. Yes. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Elijah Penny, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Giants are going to jump back in front. And Charles, maybe that's one they had dialed up. Hey, if we're in a fourth and goal situation, we're going to our muscle. And you can feel the boom, boom, boom all the way up here where we sit. The earth was shaking, and he found his way into the end zone. Yeah, but that's such a great guy to have around the goal. So that makes him have to get a touchdown in order to surpass us. If you can finish things with power, that's hard for a defense to deal with. Good old now the touchdown here to kick it away and this carries into the end zone and Hilliard will elect to not return it at their own 25 yard the Browns offense heading out as we take a look at the playoff picture in the AFC still a lot to be determined in terms of their final seating we do know they'll be in the playoffs but in what rush gets home is down Dexter Lawrence Dexter Lawrence make that now eight sacks for him on the season boy he came in off the edge so quickly there look out because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him Every game I try to pick a play of the game to be the thumbnail. That that's a that's a that and Logan Ryan. Oh. I think we just got another one. And he's gonna go down again. So Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that oh, sack yeah. and sack are on There the it is. That's a good one. Boom. Mayfield and this Browns offense staring at a third and long now after the sack. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And it's caught over the middle. Hooper. Mayfield. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Nifty running by Barkley there on first down. He scoots forward for seven yards, sets him up nicely, second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. They'll go to Barkley again. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll run it again with Barkley. And we got it. it. To the 32, good enough for a first down. And okay. 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now Saquon Barkley. And that's going in. He will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. 
Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Gano the extra point, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Gano now following the touchdown. This game's to well in hand. Well in hand. This taken in about there you four go. yards deep. And Hilliard will elect to not return it. At their own 25-yard line. Mayfield and the offense now. Down by 12. Just over a minute, 40 to play. Their long win streak in great peril as they come up first and 10. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Mayfield to throw it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two Ooh, plays. That blow Looking went nowhere. And it's incomplete. Rashard Higgins was the one he was looking for, but it'll be second down. It leads to second and ten. Mayfield with it once more. There you and go. This is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. Jabril Peppers. Mayfield. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. They'll try and run some clock here with Barkley. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Call it a gain of 11 yards, and that should just about do it. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And some good tackling there as he's. And we'll just let this clock run out at this point. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second and nine. We'll see what one more run brings us. On second down now. Okay. Not much. Just a little bit of a pat statter. Stat patter. I think the storyline really the fourth quarter coming into it neck and neck, but they were able to separate, put their foot on the gas, and get the win. And since you mentioned neck and neck, I must have a little bit of a horse racing theme. It was that close, and then really went into the gallop and finished it strong. One more horse racing theme. Go. I, just, I am glad you posted today. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. So for the Giants, they continue to roll as the win gets them to 12 and 2 on the year. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Baltimore Ravens. Meanwhile, for the Browns, they'll drop to 10 and 4 on the year. And they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at MetLife Stadium with the New York Jets. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on another episode of Madden. This was an ugly game when we tried to throw the ball, but we ended up winning this game in the trenches with Saquon Barkley. 26 carries, 162 yards. You can see Josh Rosen, I think, he had two interceptions and only 68 yards. So we managed to push our winning streak. We just got to see what happened with the San Francisco 49ers, if they're still in the number one seed, if they're still on a winning streak like we are. Hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed watching me play Madden this week, this today. <laughs> this week, technically correct, but today. Um, and be sure to stay tuned for more Hixie Dust content rolling out very soon. Thank you guys so much.